everybody, so today what we are gonna do is we're actually gonna do the second installment when it comes to the Ryobi HP versus DeWalt Atomic. Now, since I got since I got this one, I've been itching to do this video to see how well this actually holds up against the DeWalt Atomic. Now, the DeWalt Atomic is DeWalt's compact series. All right, DeWalt fans extremely hate the Atomic. I don't see the problem with it. It's a compact series. It's not gonna be as powerful as the XR for obvious reasons, because it's supposed to be compact. And the same thing with the Ryobi HP. Uh, it's a, the, both of these are compact series, so I just wanted to do this video to see what the difference between the two is. Now, the DeWalt Atomic is not brand new. Uh, it's a, uh, the DeWalt Atomic's been out for a little bit, but the Ryobi HP system is brand new. So I'm actually curious to see how well this actually is going to uh, hold up. We are going to be using the 6 amp hour HP on the Ryobi and the 6 amp hour FlexVolt on the DeWalt. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. I got videos like this coming left and right. So let's look over the specs of these really quick and get to it. Alrighty, so for the DeWalt, uh, it's a brushless uh, 20 volt system, so really, but it's 18 under load. It is model number DCD701. Half inch metal chuck with plastic housing. Uh, it is two speed settings. All right, so speed one is zero to 450 RPM. On speed two, it is 1,650. All right, this is a drill driver only, non-hammer feature. And this is a 15 point clutch plus one, which the plus one is drill. And yes, so a single LED light on the bottom. Battery for the six amp hour flex bolt is full. And so, yes, there is no feature on this to where it is a work light to where it'll run for 20 minutes. Uh, it's just a regular trigger, variable trigger, then it activates the light. Like I said, brushless motor, and that is the DeWalt Atomic. All right, for the Ryobi HP, this is, uh, this is brand new. I love the green and black instead of the green and gray. Like I said, we're using a 6 amp hour uh, HP battery. Battery is full. Single LED light on the bottom. Uh, model number for this is PSBDD01CN. Half inch metal chuck with plastic housing. Uh, speed one is zero to 450 RPMs. On speed two, it is 1700 RPMs. Now that is 1550 uh, RPMs more on speed two than it is on the DeWalt. All right, so this, uh, I do not know what the torque is. I'll put the torque of each of these as you already saw the DeWalt. I'll put the torque in right now for the Ryobi. HP brushless uh, system. And so if this has a 22 point clutch, 23 point clutch plus one, and the plus one is drill. And so yeah, Ryobi did a uh, extreme, extremely good job engineering this tool. I love how the size of it, I love the compactness and, and how it feels in the hand. And so yes, they did stick with the stem, which is okay by me, but I think they could have cut the base down a little bit just because. But that is the Ryobi and the DeWalt. I love the design of the DeWalt as well. And so, yeah, so let's uh, do a Versa video against these and see what these both can do. I remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. I got mine right here. All right, so first we're gonna do the Ryobi. It's coming out speed two, battery is full. We're just gonna do a series of tests. First, we're gonna test out the one and a quarter inch speed bore. Right here is good. Let's see what this can do. All right, so ready, go. Up, oh, that is speed two. It is unable to do it on speed two, so we gotta go to speed one. Continue. Time. Time. All right, now we're gonna do it on speed one, all the way through. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, let's do the DeWalt. Let's see if the DeWalt is capable of doing this on speed two. I highly doubt it, but we'll find out. Battery is full. Uh, is full, it's on speed two, it's on drill. All right, so ready, go. Nope, it is not capable of doing speed two. Nope, speed one, continue. Damn. 
time. All right now let's do one hole on speed two, on speed one. All right, so ready, go. Time. It's able to do it. All right, so let's try Let's try an inch and a half. Spade bit from Bosch. Let's give it a shot on speed two. That clears a little bit more. All right, so ready, go. Nope, not able to. Let's continue on speed one. It's through time. Time. All right, so let's do the same with the DeWalt. Let's see if this is able to do it on speed two. Like I said, I do not know what the test results are until I edit the video. Speed two, right here is good. Yep. All right, so ready? Go. Nope, continue on speed one. It's through. It is through. All right, time for an ultimate stress test. Let's see if the Ryobi could Do a three-quarter inch hole without, uh, we'll do two holes. We'll see if we can do it without stopping. Right here is good. We're going to do, uh, do the holes individually, but put them in one timer. All right, so ready? Go. Oh, that's speed one, my bad. Got to redo that. All right, ready, go. It does that when it's all the way through. I think it's sucking the stuff on the bottom. All right, let's try that again. Ready, go. Oh, that's reverse. Go. One. Yep, oh, it stopped. It's through though, but I was hoping, I wanted to completely stop. Right, let's do speed one then. Ready, go. Time. All right, so the Ryobi failed to do two in a row without stopping. Let's see if the DeWalt can succeed. All right, right here is good. Let's try to do two in a row. All right, speed two. Ready, go. Oh, it stopped in the second one as well. All right, so let's do speed one. Let's do, it failed to do two in a row. Let's do speed one, one hole. All right, so ready, go time it did it it did it like i said i do not know what the test results are until i edit the video all right so we're just going to do one test with the log we are going to see if these can drive in a four inch half inch lag let's see if one has issues to do it than the other one we're going to do the real first and timber locks you know and uh, those uh, those are easy i want harder tests so these are Drills and hammer drills are gonna start driving in lags. I already know it's gonna require speed one, but we are gonna try speed two. Battery is still full. Right here is good. Now we'll do it right here. All right, so it's on drill, speed two. All right, so ready, go. Nope, it requires speed one. Let's continue. 
it came undone. It's so much torque, it's undoing itself. All right, so let's continue. Wow, I'm actually seriously surprised about that. You know, maybe it's a momentum thing. Let's try it one more time somewhere else. It might be a, a momentum. It might be a momentum thing. Let's try somewhere else. So it might need a. I'm only trying somewhere else because of the hole. I want it to go into it. It might need to non do it nonstop. All right, so we're going to just do it flat out on speed one. Let's see what this can do. All right, so ready? Go. Let's continue. Can you do it? I don't think it can. Which that's surprising. That is surprising. That is surprising. Okay, we're going to keep that in there. All right, it cannot do it on speed one. Let's see if the DeWalt can. Now, like I said, this is a hardcore stress test. Then if this can't do it, we'll measure which one got it the, the deepest. All right, we're just gonna go to uh, speed uh, one. I know I can't do it on speed two. All right, so it's on drill, battery is full. Sorry, battery's full. I'll be amazed if this can do it. All right, so ready, go. Ah, oh, came out as well. Let's see if we can continue it. Let's see if we can continue this one. Nope, they both failed. Both of them fail, failed at this task. All right, so let's take a tape measure really quick. Let's see which one got it the furthest. Yeah, they're both about a quarter of an inch. They both have a quarter of an inch left. So they both equally failed that task. They both equally fail that task. All right, we're gonna see if Hilti's uh, 12 volt tool can take this out. Jesus. Took out one. Alrighty, we are gonna do one timber lock each. All right, we're gonna do a Ryobi really quick. Right here is good, is on speed two. All right, so ready, go. Time. Let's do the DeWalt. It's on speed two. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Time, up, oh, need a little time. All right, so Ryobi is gonna take out DeWaltz and DeWaltz is gonna take out Ryobi's. Ready, go. Time. DeWaltz turn. Ready, go. Thought it, thought it was gonna fail that time for a second. For the final test, we're gonna do a three inch Milwaukee speed dozer. Hole dozer, sorry. We're gonna do it on speed two, battery is still full. Round speed two right here is good. The, neither of these tools have got hot at all during these tests. All right, so ready, go.
time, time, time. Let's take this out. Final temperature reading on the Ryobi. 109. Hundred and fifteen degrees. Hundred. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Hundred and fifteen degrees. All right. Let's do the final test for the Dewalt. Battery is still full. Speed two. It's on drill. All right, so right here is good. All right, so ready? Go. Time. Time, time, time. Let's take that out. Perfect. Alrighty, that concludes the tests. For the final temperature on the DeWalt is 96. So the 99. I had one spot 99, 92. It's about 97 degrees. I'm not sure if you can see that, about 97. So the DeWalt actually ran a little cooler, but uh I, like I said, I do not know what the results are uh, until I edit the video, but uh, I can tell that both of these are majorly underpowered. All right, so these two are actually pretty good for compact tools. Now remember, both of these have bigger tools that are more powerful than these, but for compact tools, these aren't that bad. I have enough power to get the job done. Now, both of these are able to do one and a half inch spade bits, one and a quarter inch speed bores, you know, three inch holes. If you need more powerful tools to do stuff that is beyond what i just showed you guys you know like then you need a bigger drill uh so th this is the stuff that people mainly use drills for drilling out holes and driving in screws and so these two are able to do it but that's pretty much it i just wanted to do this little versus video just to show you guys the difference between the ryobi compact hp versus the dewalt compact atomic and there you go i do not know what the results are until i edit the video so that's pretty much it please like this video please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel this is dave nicholas thank you for tuning in i'll see you guys next time